Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, recently made one of his most optimistic statements on ion-based batteries to date. He noted that the company is making a shift from lithium-ion phosphate, which is the more traditional and affordable, for some of its electric vehicles and energy storage systems. Elon Musk is indicating that Tesla could be shifting more electric cars to LFP battery cells over some concerns about the long-term availability of the nickel supply. During the Tesla CEO's highly anticipated Battery Day event, which was held directly after the company's quarterly shareholders meeting, Musk announced an ambitious slate of innovations and even an all-new manufacturing plant that Tesla will pursue over the next 10 years to start producing its batteries. Last year, the Tesla CEO, Elon Musk, mentioned that he believed the energy density of iron phosphates, or LFP batteries, has improved enough now that it makes sense to use the cheaper and cobalt-free batteries in its lower-end vehicles. Furthermore, the CEO indicated that the use of LFP batteries also frees up more battery supply of lithium-ion chemistry cells using nickel cathodes for Tesla's other vehicle programs. In October 2020, Tesla started producing the Model 3 Standard Range Plus out of Gigafactory Shanghai with LFP batteries. The move was significant because Tesla also started exporting this new version of the Model 3 outside of China for the first time. This new Made in China Model 3 Standard Range Plus with LFP batteries ended up becoming Tesla's new base model in Europe and other markets. In the US, Tesla has still been producing the Model 3 Standard Range with lithium ion battery cells with nickel cathodes, but now Elon Musk appears to be indicating a possible shift there too. When discussing battery resource availability on Twitter, Musk said that Tesla is, quote, shifting standard range cars to an iron cathode. He said in a comment that nickel is the company's biggest concern for scaling lithium ion cell production. That's why they are shifting standard range cars to an iron cathode. Plenty of iron and lithium. The comment seems to imply the shift is ongoing and therefore could expand just beyond vehicle production in China. Lately, the CEO has been expressing concerns about the availability and price of nickel. During Tesla's earning call in July 2020, Musk pleaded with mining companies to increase their nickel production, saying, quote, Well, I'd just like to re-emphasize, any mining companies out there, please mine more nickel, okay? Wherever you are in the world, please mine more nickel, and don't wait for nickel to go back to some long high point that you experienced some five years ago. Whatever. Go for efficiency. Obviously environmentally friendly nickel mining at high volume. Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period if you mine more nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. So hopefully this message goes out to all mining companies, please get a nickel. Nickel prices have been surging lately and are up 16% already this year, and it's partly due to the demand for electric car batteries. Battery cells with nickel cathodes have more energy and power density than cells using iron phosphate. Hence, that's why Tesla is only using the latter in shorter range electric vehicles. It's incredibly important that we accelerate the advent of sustainable energy, Musk said during a live stream event held in Fremont, California, adding that, quote, running this climate experiment is insane. Specifically, Musk sees Tesla taking on a more significant role in sustainable energy generation and storage, in addition to creating more affordable electric vehicles. For example, Musk plans to phase out cobalt in its battery cathodes in favor of nickel, a silvery, lustrous metal found in mines across the globe with high concentrations of nickel ore in Indonesia, Russia, Canada, and the Philippines. This, plus other redesigns of the lithium-ion battery, will enable Tesla to make more energy-dense in-house batteries that not only increase the range for the company's suite of luxury electric vehicles, but also enable cost benefits that Musk says will lead to a $25,000 fully autonomous electric vehicle in the next three years. Nickel Cathodes the cathode is a structure that holds ions while retaining its structure and shape. Without it, the battery capacity quickly drops. In a sense, cathodes are like bookshelves, where the metal is like the shelf and the lithium is the book. Depending on the metal used in the cathode, there are different amounts of books, or lithium, that can fit. Nickel is the cheapest and most energy-dense material that companies can use in cathodes. However, cobalt is currently the most popular option due to its stability. Instead, Tesla wants to move towards a reliance on nickel, bringing its batteries down to 0% cobalt. All of this adds to up to a 70% reduction in process costs and moves towards sustainability, with 0% wastewater as a byproduct. In addition, Tesla says the goal is to move beyond the need for new battery-grade nickel and instead focus on using recycled nickel from existing batteries. 
That way, there's less reliance on mining. Here's the lowdown on everything you need to know about Tesla's new batteries, forthcoming battery production plants, and what it could mean for climate change. Tabless battery cells. Tesla's ultimate plan is to halve the cost of kilowatt hour in the factory, leading to a greater economic of scale in electric vehicles, lithium ion batteries, and sustainable energy generation industries. To do that, Tesla is redesigning the fundamentals of the battery cell. Each cylindrical battery has a cap, positive, and a can, negative, which are the negative and positive portions of the cell. Inside, there is a tab connected to the cell, plus a jelly roll that contains the positive and negative electrodes. In a 2170 Tesla cell, there is about one meter's length of jelly roll, which sort of looks like a rolled up Swiss cake. From there, the lithium ions move between the anode and the cathode to recharge or give off energy. Tesla sees the ideal cells as having 46 millimeter diameter, but it's challenging to supercharge a battery of this size. So the company has introduced a new tabless architecture that it's calling the 4680 cell. The resulting battery is simpler to manufacture, requires fewer parts, and looks a bit like a mandala of metallic shingles. More importantly, it's six times more powerful than Tesla's previous batteries and gives Tesla vehicles about 16% more range before taking into account other battery improvements. The distance that the electron has to travel is much less, Musk explained. Even though the cell is bigger, he added, it has more power. The power to weight ratio is much smaller than with TAPS. Nobody has done it before. To transition all vehicles with an internal combustion engine to electric cars will take a great deal of battery production, about 150 terawatt hours per year to be exact. For context, Tesla has generated about 17 terawatt hours of solar energy to date, Musk said. Terra is the new giga. A terawatt is 1,000 times more than a gigawatt, he explained during the presentation. That's what is needed to transition the world to sustainability. Put another way, one terawatt is also equivalent to one trillion watts. That represents a huge leap in sustainable energy growth. Tesla will need to generate 100 times more battery power than current levels to reach its ambitious new goal of 10 terawatt hours of battery production per year. Tesla's existing gigafactories in Sparks, Nevada, Buffalo, New York, Shanghai, China, and a fourth under construction in Berlin, Germany, isn't satisfactory for these lofty energy production goals just yet. It would take 135 Nevada gigafactories to produce 20 terawatt hours of battery production each year, Musk said. That's not a scalable solution for battery manufacturing. Tesla is ramping up production of its new tabless cells at its pilot battery manufacturing firm at an undisclosed location near Fremont, California. But Musk didn't offer any hints about where a permanent factory might be located. He said it will take about one year before the factory can achieve 10 terawatt hours of energy per year. He believes that, eventually, a full-fledged manufacturing plant could produce energy on the order of 200 gigawatt hours per year. Tesla is expected to use the new 4680 battery format in a number of its upcoming models, including its Cybertruck. Although one of the most detrimental aspects of battery production is the environmental impact, as mining for cobalt is a dirty business. The introduction of these new 4690 battery cells has virtually eliminated the use of coal and has made batteries at least 90% recyclable, bringing us one step closer to a less petroleum-dependent environment. Combining a better battery with efforts to reduce water consumption during the manufacturing process will result in a more affordable electric vehicle for everyone. What do you think of the new Tesla battery? Are you excited about it? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below.